welcome 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 back to the channel from Istanbul Airport in Turkey so this is one of the um, world's top best airports although it's only got one terminal it's got a great variety of restaurants and bars it's got a new revamped duty-free here it is it's a very nice airport I like it so I've had a nice trip in Turkey no problems I've um, spent a bit of time in Western Turkey in the Izmir Airport and um, that area for a couple of weeks and I've spent a few days in Istanbul. It's been all right. I've had a nice time. Gonna have a good look around this airport. Got an hour, about an hour and 50 minutes before my flight. Obviously, looking at this, you'd think that, you know, Turkey's absolutely booming. Like, there's all sorts of beautiful things. Cartier, the lot. But, unfortunately, Turkey's in a right mess. Um, due to higher powers, should we say, this country's in big problems with, with the... Um, the interest rates are currently at eight percent. That's the, the the banking government rate what they set. However, you can't get an eight percent loan anywhere in Turkey. Um, after soaring inflation in the last twelve months of like sixty percent, the banks will give you about um, I think it's around about fifty four percent interest on your money at the moment. So pretty good if you invest. If you put money in your Turkish bank account, you get fifty four percent a year. It's nice obviously the problem is if inflation's at 60 percent you're actually losing money um, it's been fairly steady the last month or so so it's possible you could make a small profit and some people are trying to play the money exchange rates i'm sure um property prices in istanbul have gone up like 120 percent in the last 12 months as the turks rush to buy real estate assets like um, apartments houses land cars um, they'll buy anything like literally even iPhones you can buy an iPhone here it, you, can't, you can't bring your iPhone from any other country into Turkey and use it for more than like three months after three months the Turkish government cut your phone off Mont Blanc yeah they cut it off so you can't use it in Turkey anymore so you can only buy if you're Turkish you can only buy a, t a phone in Turkey and iPhone 15 will cost you around about 30% more than in Europe but people are still buying them as investments like the Turks to, to save their money from dropping and losing value they, they spend the money and they, they're buying iPhones and then hoping to sell them for a profit in a couple of months later so people are doing that um, a lot of people have give up trying to save to be honest with you and they're just thinking listen money's going to be worthless soon so I might as well just sell it now they might, might as well just spend it all now so they're just spending it so they're in the cafes, they're in the restaurants, they're just doing the, any money they get in. Um, average wage for the Turks on, an, on a basic sort of job in a cafe or something like that, about 500 euros a month. Um, to rent an apartment, you can rent an apartment for about 200 euros a month, say, for an apartment, which isn't too bad, it's pretty cheap to rent an apartment. But um, it's, it's cost of living here for food and stuff like that, it's... It's really hard for the Turkish people, really, very hard for them to survive at the moment. They haven't got much money. There is a lot of rich Turkish, Turkish people, obviously, but there's many, many poor people in Turkey. The Turkish people, they love what I've seen. They love dogs and cats. They love cats especially. The, any homeless... Um, any, homeless. Any, any... Is it homeless? Homeless dogs. Let's call them homeless dogs. Any street dogs. They, um, they microchip them all and castrate them. And they're, they're huge, like big fat dogs, they get well fed. The cats, they leave cat food out everywhere. And in, in most shops and stuff, you'll see um, you'll see bowls of cat food. You'll see cats lying around in restaurants, on tables in restaurants. They're everywhere, cats, like. And um, Turks, they'll, they'll love to bend over and stroke a cat. Love it. So, yeah, been a good time. I've had a nice time. I'm going to go and um, go back to the UK. Unfortunately, my flight to Madagascar has just been cancelled um, on the 26th I was meant to be going. It's now been put back to the 27th. So that's a bit of a pain, but whatever. I'll get there on the 28th now instead of the 27th or whatever. So that's all right. I'll get, I'll get some compensation, I suppose. They'll probably refund me. Tell you what, I bet it's expensive in here for food. It's always, always the same in airports, isn't it? Dead expensive. 
worth our, worth a look though. Yeah, what else can I tell you? Probably not a lot. Like that's probably about it. I don't have a lot to say really. Apart from I've had a nice time. It's been all right. I've had no problems this time. Obviously, if you've seen the last video, I've had a couple of problems in Turkey in the past. Not this time though. Very very nice. But yeah, I like the airport. It's pretty big. It's pretty good. It's got pretty much everything you could want. Ray-Bans. Can't be a Ray-Ban. Not paying for Ray-Bans, though. Too expensive. Not when I can get sunglasses in Madagascar for a dollar. To tell you what, the food, though, in Madagascar is absolutely fabulous. Like, it, there's not a dessert like I didn't enjoy. Every single one of them are just absolutely fabulous. All the cheesecakes and that, chocolate cakes. Very, very nice. Look at this. Eight euro fifty. Walk away, walk away fast. I'm walking away as fast as I can. I don't think I really need anything here, to be honest with you. They got about five Burger Kings in here, though. About three McDonald's in just in this one airport, apparently. So quite a lot in it. I bet they're about twenty dollars for a for a Burger King meal. I do buy um, duty free, but I don't need any for the um, UK. There's a racky. This stuff here gets you absolutely wasted. Turkish love this. Even though it's a Muslim country, they love alcohol, the Turks, like. Mars bars for 21, pa 21 euro for free. One, 10 euro. 10 euro for a packet of Mars bar. <laughs> Very nice. Look at these, four, four euro, 50. The little Jack Daniels. Tell you what, it's no frills on the aeroplanes. Absolutely no frills now. You don't get nothing. You don't get a TV screen on the on the aeroplane to Turkey with, with EasyJet and that. Don't get nothing. I don't even think they offer you a drink. Hundred euro, like for Lambert's, like six hundred. That's expensive. I've just been paying one euro a packet. Just over one euro a packet, maybe one euro fifty a packet for cigarettes in Turkey. Laughing the price of cigarettes. If you want to smoke yourself to death, no better place than Turkey to come and smoke yourself to death. Apart from Madagascar, where you can get them for one euro there. Very nice. I've got some Zyban tablets. I've, I've um, managed to get find another dodgy pharmacist who's willing to give me tablets without a prescription. Perfect. Who needs a doctor when you can get a dodgy pharmacist? They'll just sell you them. So I've got them, are on the way, so I should be able to quit smoking. I've still got some of my old smoking tablets, just didn't seem to work, like antidepressant sort of smoking tab tablets they were. Didn't get depressed either, which is good. Obviously, you're not really meant to get depressed, are you, on anti antidepressants? But there you go, Hugo Bass. Yeah, let's go and have a look up here, innit? Check this place out a bit more, why not? See what else is here, it's massive, like. I don't see much things that I'm excited about. I don't like spending money in airports. Call me call me cheap. I'm gonna have a look at how much Levi 501s are. I love Levi 501s. It's a Levi shop over there. Mavi, it's one of the main shops in Turkey. They love that clothes shop, Mavi. Michael Kaur. Of course, I won't be going in there. How much is a quazon? Six euro. Six euro for a quazon. <laughs> Uh, they must have thought I was born yesterday, these guys. Six euro for a quazon. You need about 200,000 euro a month salary to live in this world nowadays. Right, so I'm going to go check this place out. I don't want to take the camera in there. But I'm going to go see how much 501s are. I reckon they're going to be 100 euro. I'll leave a comment of how much they cost. And I'll let you, and so you can find out, can't you then? That's it. I've got a chocolate bar in my bag. I'll do. I'll deal with a chocolate bar in it. And if I can find a smoking lounge somewhere, I'll go and have a cigarette. Catch me flight in about one and a half hours. Happy days. And I'll upload this video. Thanks for watching. Give us a like. Give us a sub. Check my other videos. I'll see you in the next one. Boom. I'm out of here from Istanbul Airport. <laughs>